Hey guys, LEGO Star Wars 888 here, back with another LEGO Star Wars review. This time we're doing a review on LEGO Star Wars set 7667 Imperial Dropship. So as always, we'll start off with the minifigures. This set includes four. So the first minifigure is uh, a new minifigure, a Shadow Trooper. You can only buy it in this set or another set called TIE Crawler. So it's basically the shadow version of a Stormtrooper. It's uh, black with grey and blue markings, so it represents the Shadow Trooper itself. As you can see on its helmet and on the torso, on the front and on the back. Now he also comes with a sniper rifle, which is quite good. So that's the first minifigure, Shadow Trooper. If you want loads of the Shadow Troopers, uh, I recommend you buy the sex. It's only £10 and then tie for it's like £40. Plus you get three other minifigures and it's an awesome set anyway. So that's the first minifigure, a Shadow Trooper. Then you get the new version of a Storm Trooper. Which also comes with a new version of a Blaster. Which has been changed from the old one. And as you can tell by its helmet, it's new like I said. Compared to the old one, it's like got a straight moustache piece instead of like two side moustache pieces if you get what I mean. If you don't want them, watch my other review on the difference between this one and the old one to compare. So, oh, and this one comes with a, a, a short blaster or a pistol. And the other, so you get two of them with the little blaster. And the other one comes with a sniper rifle, just like the Shadow Trooper does. So, on to the set itself. So move the dropship forward. So nice little feature for the set. You take the shadow troopers blast uh, uh, snipe rifle off, put them in a seating position, uh, put the snipe rifle. You take the snipe rifle that you just took off, put it on these two grey pieces on either side. You can see those that put your snipe rifles on there, so they sit there perfectly. There you go, there's the Shadow Troopers on there. Then the Shadow Trooper sits in the cockpit of the dropship, which amazingly doesn't come with any controls, but I wouldn't worry about it because the set's only £10, so you can't expect every little detail to be put in there. So there's the Shadow Trooper in his cockpit. You just close the cockpit, so he's sat in there ready to fly the dropship. And you take the other sniper rifle off the other Stormtrooper, and put it on the opposite side to the uh, other sniper rifle from the Shadow Trooper. There we go, that's that done. Then if you just... Oops, that knocked me off. Then if we just flip to the reverse of the dropship, that's where you're going to seat your Stormtroopers. So, I'm just going to quickly try and put them seated on the back of the dropship if we can. There's the first one sat down. And then we get the next one. And finally the last Stormtrooper. So the, actually you can seat four people on here, but you only get uh, three Stormtroopers to sit on it. Which is, you know, I don't know. So there's all three stormtroopers sat on the back of the dropship. It's a quick look around. And these sniper rifles just keep falling off. They're a bit of a pain. I keep knocking them. So that's the basis of a dropship. Of them all seated in the cockpit and on the back of the landing platform. So you can do like loads of stop motions or videos of showing the... Uh, Imperial dropship flying around. And then the only other feature other than seating them and everything is at the back there's a grey piece just there. Can you see underneath the light grey piece is a darker grey piece. So when you're flying you just pull the, uh, put the wings up when it's landing like so. The wings go up like that and then you just slide the platform off the back and then there you go Stormtroopers are deployed and ready to go into battle. So 
So it's basically it for the set itself. You're just like uh, moving your army into battle as such. And then they'll just drop off, uh, jump off, then fight against the rebels. And then the shadow troop uh, might jump back off and help fight. Or he might use his dropship and the rifles on top to shoot uh, other people down because he's got the advantage of being in the air. So that's it for the set. The set's nicely detailed with the Imperial dropship. Uh, Imperial logo should say there on the top and on the sides It's got like little red pieces there, which is quite good. So itself looks quite good, especially when the wings move up and down On the back there, so it shows it flying and landing and everything. That's pretty cool So that's it for the set itself. Just move it to one side and then give you a quick look at the box There's the front of the box. Top of the box shows a stormtrooper there on the side of the box here, it just says LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga because it came out at the same time as the PlayStation 3 and 360 game. On the back, it shows you the st three Stormtroopers and the Shadow Trooper. It shows you the other Battle Pack Scout speeder and then the features that I showed you. So, thanks for watching this review and stay tuned for my next review coming soon. Bye for now.